everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name is Terrell. And my name is Brendan. And we are BNT Reacts. And today we are checking out Conan Gray sings People Watching Billie Eilish and Beyonce in round two of Song Association. And this is by L. Um, definitely interested to check this out. Um, we haven't seen round one of um, um, Conan Gray's um, Song Association. We checked out a song from him a while back. Um, okay. It was a while back. Um, I was gonna say that. I it was Heather. It was the song Heather. Remember when we reacted to it, um, and he was talking about. Um, I can't. I, I I briefly remember it. It's been a while, though, y'all. Like it's been. In a minute, um, but y'all um, requested this, so we're gonna check out um, him doing song association and see if he is um, he's good at this game. We did recently did um, Billie Eilish, um, and she killed it. Um, she, she got a, she got something wrong. She got wrong. one wrong. Yeah, one wrong. She missed one, yeah, I think. Okay, I can't remember exactly, but yeah, she did. She had to, she did her thing, and it was fun for us kind of play along as well um, with this song association. But let's just get right into it. Let's go, y'all. Yeah. Let's, yeah. <laughs> I love being dramatic because. Why would you ever deal with any emotion in a logical way when you could have the option of absolutely losing your mind? Hey y'all, I'm Conan Gray and I'm back to play another round of Song Association with Al. I'll be given a word and I'll have 10 seconds to sing or rap a song with that word. I remember it being harder than I expected last time, so I feel like maybe... I'm not gonna do that well. <laughs> but before we get into the game, make sure to stream my new album, Super Ache. And if you don't, bad things are gonna happen to you. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Come on, vocal Walmarts. Stop. Stop. In the name of love. Stop. Oh. Stop in the name of yeah. hey. love. That song is called Stop in the Name of Love, and I totally knew that. Mm. And I didn't ask the people in this room what it was called. Ooh. Sky. Sky. Uh, we're beautiful like, like diamonds, diamonds in, in the, the sky. sky. I knew it was a song, but I knew it was the sky. I'm like, shit. Diamonds by Rihanna. People. 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 But for now, I'm only. I don't know this song. People watching. Oh, this is the song. Oh, his song. By Justin Bieber. <laughs> By me. Justin Bieber. Oh, well, I don't know Conan is about the Conan's, fact that um, I have spent my entire life. Pronouns. I'm not going to say that day. And that I've never been. That is not pronouns. And I feel oh. like I just I like kind of like stalk couples everywhere I go and just watch them. And I like red. It's like this t shirt. To feel a single emotion. I live every day with nothing in my heart. It's just about kind of like living vicariously through couples. I think everyone who's single or just anyone really, you like kind of look at people who are in love and you're like, must be nice, girl. That song was just such like a like wow, what did that song try out? So synonymous with like you know riding in the car with No, I'm thinking it was a while ago. <laughs> yeah. So 2000s. And yeah, that's yeah, 2000. At last, I'm James. One last time, I need to be the one to take oh, you home. Love. I remember the music video was like the, the apocalypse or something. Mm -hmm. Classic. Bored. What's the, so um, bored. yeah, what's the Billy Idol song? I'm so bored. Oh, no, I'm thinking another Billy Idol song. So bored. bored by Billy Eilish on the 13 Reasons Why soundtrack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that song was so crucial to I can only think of that TikTok sound. experience. I remember I think that sound. playing it in I'm the bored car in with the my house best friend on the train. I'm bored. I'm going to get some Starbucks feeling very much like we were in 13 Reasons Why. Listen. To the song. Listen in the song in my heart. The version that I know is by Beyonce. I remember there was a performance of her singing it on like Oprah or something. And it was crazy. And I was like, oh my god. What? I knew people could sing, but I, I never knew people could sing. You made me. I know exactly the first he's talking about. When she broke it down, she's like, dum dum, I'm more than what? You made me. Oh, Beyonce could sing. 
part of the world. This part of, the part of, part of this world. Part of, part of your world. A whole no wait, was it um wish I could be part of A part, part of that world? A part yeah. of Oh, <laughs> tell all of your friends that I'm crazy and drive you mad that I'm such a stalker, mm -hmm. a watcher, a psychopath, maniac by Justin Bieber. <laughs> it's crazy. That song like completely changed my life. It was the first time that people ever like really reacted to a song of mine. And it's crazy also to think it did come out like two years ago now. And we've just been in the pandemic for the past like two years. So um, it's super fun to know. sing it live. And yeah, it was. You uh, heard that song? It's a very yeah. special place in my heart yeah, because I feel like- Okay. You said that like I knew the song. I was like, yeah, it says it was his song. Part of my <laughs> little world and listen to my music. You've heard like, it. We all I have not. How do you know? It was the beginning like, tell of something all of your really friends that I'm really yeah. Shoot. Never heard that song. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Brenda said he talking. Okay. What? For those of you who've been it's around with us. It's a very popular listen, song. Listen. For those of you who've been around with us for a while now, y'all already know. But for our new people watching this video, if it's possible, new people watching this video, Brenda knows that I don't listen the, the the songs I listen to are in the seventies and the sixties, Brendan. Okay, it was a very pop, it was very big when it first. Came I do out. not listen to music now. It, it's many songs that are big that I don't know now. Okay, but like it was like I feel like it was like a TikTok thing. Like people were playing uh, playing Spotify. I TikTok. I wasn't on TikTok like when did it come out? You said two years ago. I wasn't on TikTok like that two years 2020, ago. Twenty twenty, yes you were. We made TikTok in twenty twenty. Okay, but I didn't hear that song. You make it seem like it's impossible for me. Even when I was on TikTok, I didn't. The TikTok that you I see, feel like if you heard it, you would say that you. you know I didn't it. hear it. I think if you if you heard it now, I you would be like, oh yeah, I know that song. I didn't hear it. I'm not listening. No shade. I feel like no shade would. to his song because I'm sure it's a great song and it was popular. Like, hey, missing out on nothing on me not listening to it. I just never heard of it. I think if you heard it, you would know it. Well, you just sung it and he just sung it and I'm not hearing. Okay, but you're it. not hearing the music with that. You're not hearing the instrument. No, I don't know it. The difference. <laughs> I don't know it. Uh, I don't know. Celine Dion? Oh, I don't. I wouldn't know. I'm sorry. Guys, okay, who's the word? I, I was not paying attention. Sound. The hills are alive <laughs> with the, the sound. The hills are alive <laughs> with the sound of music. I recently rewatched that movie and I think maybe as a kid I was not shown the ending because that movie is so so dark. I don't <laughs> think I ever remembered seeing it. I've never seen it. I must it. have been like sheltered okay. as a kid or something. But god, what a I just remember they like ran away or something. Memories. I know like, some of the songs in like a moment that I, I never wish seen that it. you would stay in my memories. But you show up today well, just um, to the cat songs. <laughs> You're in a different place. Off of my new album, Super Break. You know when you're trying to get over someone, but you just can't do it because they're making it as hard as possible. They just like keep showing up in your life and you're like, I'm trying so hard to get over you and you're making this terrible. You're making it as hard as possible by like texting me every once in a while or like popping up on my birthdays, stay in my memories. I want you to be a part of my past. We had so much fun making that song like as ridiculous as possible. We just made it like just very dramatic and I love being dramatic because why would you ever deal with any emotion in a logical way when you could have the option of absolutely losing your mind? But I think to be honest, a lot of the songs on the album were like pretty miserable to make because I felt like if my debut album was like me saying hello, this album is like me scraping my ribs for like information about myself. And it's like, was just so painful and miserable to make. Yeah, to be honest, it sucked. <laughs> Still. Still. Cause after all this time, I'm still into you. I should be Dang. over on a butterfly. But I'm into you. Now, I only still know that you. song from a, um, my Paramore. Clearly. I got a TikTok. Like, a, it was like an edit. TikTok all I did edit. just to make you happy. Still, you don't even f with me. Jesus. 
Jigsaw, 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 Jigsaw. Killing parts of myself to fit you. Clear shit, I was not the issue. What was the word? Jigsaw. My favorite song oh. from think... live on the album right no, now. No, that was the name of the song. Just because there's an. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm getting distracted like thinking of songs. I know, yeah, just... yeah loses their minds and screams jigsaw 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 and it's just so fun to sing with everyone i think like everyone needs to kind of scream every once in a while it's good for the soul city city you only pass through my city every once in a million seconds on a broken clock this is online love I was thinking about the damn song, um, we gonna run this, but it's town, we gonna run this down the night. And what I really hope is like, okay, and I was like, okay, but I want to finish it, and I was, everyone was like, you don't have time. Sorry, so I just repeated what we did. Oh, it's like, 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 it's my whole life, I've just written songs in my bed my whole life, and I think that's all I'm ever gonna do. Hmm. Text. Because mm. the potential. We don't text anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. I sent a text you won't read all okay. night long. This could be a disaster. There's so many factors. This is Disaster off of my new album, Soup Break. That song is just about. That moment where you really want to tell someone that you have feelings for them, but you're like, but what if they don't like me? Of course they don't like me. I'm atrocious. I'm like, well, there's so many factors. Like, what if you don't like me and then we never talk again because it's super awkward. It's just all about the like overthinking of um, that kind of crucial moment where you want to tell someone that you like them. But if you're anything like me, who are observers of life, but oftentimes not participators, you just smile and say nothing. I just feel like I make music for people who are like me. Kiss. 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 Kiss me in the seat of your over. Real sweet, but I wish you were sober. <laughs> wish you were sober. By Jessica Alba. <laughs> my pre performance ritual is losing my mind, being absolutely riddled with anxiety, barely being able to breathe, uh -huh. calling my best friend, and being like, I don't know if I can do it tonight. And her being like, you do it every night, calm down. And I'm like, <laughs> right. And then I get my clothes on and I shiver up to stage. And then I get up there and literally the first note I sing, I'm like, everyone's here to have a good time. This is perfectly fine. I'm like super terrified before every single show. And I thought it would get better and it hasn't. It's gotten <laughs> worse. <laughs> right. I can only think of the cha-cha right. slide. Oh, who wants to be right as rain? It's bad. To Not the cha-cha <laughs> slide. They say right a lot. She's the reason why I started writing. Oh, um, I saw right a video here. of like 18-year-old right singing Daydreamer in her bedroom no, or something. No, is and like 11-year-old me was like, SWB. I don't do that. That's so easy. I can write a song. Funny to think that's how it all started, but... Adele is wonderful and it's actually quite hard to write an Adele song. I found out favorite Adele song has to be Someone Like You. Probably one of the best ballads of all time. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. I do like that song a lot. That I one. wish nothing but the best for you too. One. Mm -hmm. I'll be your number one. God, be a number one girl, always making time for you, let me tell you one time. That was actually by Justin Bieber, one time. <laughs> Seven things. The only thing that keeps me from saying something really sad. Uh, the only thing by Sufjan Stevens. Okay, period, one wrong. Really oh, wait, no. How many did you... I think I did better than last time. I'm so tough. Yeah, okay, period. Yeah, yeah. Give me some harder stuff next time. Uh -huh. Going easy on me. <laughs> okay, period. Um, what's your favorite Adele song? I know yours. Yours is the um damn James Bond one. Oh, I, 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 I literally listened to that today. I do, I do like uh, spy fog. Yeah, you, know? you listen to that a lot. Um, my yeah, favorite. Yeah, um, yeah. which one do you think mine is? Adele. 
I don't listen to a lot of Adele, but it's probably new. one of her newer ones. Um, yeah, it's definitely right. one of the newer ones. Oh, I do like her new album. Um, I can't. I don't know. It's the new. It's well, it's not my. F I don't know. It's kind of hard. Cause you did listen to the new album, like a few songs from her new album. Yeah, it wasn't all the songs. It was like a few songs I was hooked on. Um, what's the My Little Love? I love that song. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that one was good. Um, that's definitely my top three Adele songs. That. Um, someone like you and um what's that song I used to always sing? Um All I Ask. All I Ask is it What'd you think of this video? <laughs> um yeah, it was it was good. I very much enjoyed kinda like the vibe Conan was giving off. I don't know, um they seem very funny. Uh I don't know, it kinda has like a dry I don't wanna say dry humor, but I was some of the funny comments they were making was was making me chuckle. I was enjoying myself. Um, I definitely want to check out music more, I guess. More music from... <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, you were right. Um, but I definitely would check out more music from Conan. Um, and I don't know. It was it was very entertaining. Very good time. Very, very good time. Had a great time watching it. And definitely would check out music. Yeah, so I just looked it up. It was about, um, it, I didn't even look at the actual date, but we reacted to it over a year ago. Um, it's, it's been a while, so I, I'm not even like, I can understand how Brandon forgot that. It's been a while, y'all. Um, it was all, um, all fun and games in this video. Um, I enjoyed these song associations, especially playing on with these celebrities, you know? Um, and just kind of hearing their take, um, just on like the music, um, like their music in particular, their take and kind of how they interpret things because sometimes the artist's take on the songs that they make be a fucking completely different than what you get you take from it um they can be like oh yeah i'm talking about rainbows and you like bitch i thought you was talking about crying like <laughs> like you never know like it's such a different take and so it's always interesting to kind of pick their brain to see what their take was um just as well as um seeing what conan's um type of music that um they listen to in terms of like what music influenced them and like um i think a lot of times these song associations a lot of times um the songs that we pick are songs that really like in a way make a mark on us in a way that we always like like when i saw the word like thing i was like oh seven things because i like it, it might be like such a, like a kid song or whatever but that's like a video in a song like during the time period i'm like i remember when that came out molly was the shit like i was like okay molly you better seven things i hate about you you know <laughs> like things like that so i think uh it was really cool to kind of pick at conan's brain as well with that um, I very much enjoyed it actually. It was um very interesting. I'm, I'm interested in seeing how um seeing more people do this. Um and kind of see what type of music people listen to. It's always interesting. Yeah, to I see. think it is interesting to kind of see like what their brain immediately goes to because it's like, oh, that is like a I song think, that they've listened to a lot of like I things. think music says a lot about a person because music yeah. usually I think for everybody is comfort. Um and the type of music that you listen to, it definitely says a lot about you. Um, in your soul and your spirit. Um, but anyway, that's all for this reaction. If you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you also hit that subscribe button and go ahead and comment down below for more reaction requests. It can be more videos like this to anything when we react with y'all. And make sure to follow us on all of our social medias, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, follow both of our separate channels. And check out our Discord. <laughs> yes, Discord, Discord, Discord. All right, y'all, but that's all for this reaction and we're out. Bye. Thank you.